petrol station for calls, thumbs and on suede jacket. Hiya. Exciting one today. Going to be uh, comparing some fuel economy. Check that out. Yes. Nice bird shit all over the window as well. Uh, completely irrelevant, but so. Anyway, made this video, already made this video about six months ago. Uh, and I deleted it before I'd finished it and didn't bother making it again. So what am I going to do? Well, my car, the Citroen, fuel economy, fuel lights just come on, one and a half miles ago. So I'm going to put two gallon of V-Power in it. And I'm gonna see. Hey, what's happening? Fuck off. Uh, we are. I'm gonna see how many miles we get whilst driving in a responsible manner. So, two gallon in gives us to there. Uh, just mention as well, this car isn't totally standard, it's got Yaris injectors in it. Uh, but it'll be the same when I'm doing both the tests. So, this will be just down to driving style. Um, so yeah, but the same car, I'm not going to make any changes. Uh, journeys will be pretty much the same as well because, well, because I do the same journeys quite a lot. I use this car for commuting um, and, well, unless I change jobs and move house in the next couple of weeks while doing this, then it'll be the same. So things like not having everything, everything, that one thing turned on and uh, not starting the car for ages before we have to set off driving. Genitalia acceleration with small throttle openings and making use of the gearbox to use the 1KR's monstrous lowdown torque. Looking ahead when approaching junctions and just being gentle on the brakes. Listening to chilled out radio stations. Well, we've just passed 90 mile and we are still going strong. So the beeper has just gone and that is, you can see, 97 and a half miles to what's that? About 48 and a half ish, 48.75, 48.75 miles to a gallon. Um, and that's with Yaris injectors and, I'll just reset that now actually, because now we're going to try a less economic driving style. But well, that's with Yaris injectors and all round town. I've not been on the motorway at all, so that is all round town. Uh, and on top of that, I did actually get stuck in a bit of traffic this week as well. More traffic than normal. So if anything, it's actually a, well, it's not an optimistic result. It's, uh, it's done all right. So anyway, let's go and fill up and we will try changing the driving style and there's our other two gallons to go at and this time like i said we're driving a little bit different less economic use of the gearbox and being heavy on the brakes rather than looking further in distance and sort of preempting that you're gonna have to stop the accelerator pedal is now effectively a two-way digital input control to the throttle body one position, two position. Listening to bangers. Maintaining a smooth and steady speed. And of course, every set of traffic lights is Santa Pod. I got this. And the beeper's just gone at 57 miles, which is 28 and, a half, 28 and a half miles to a gallon. So, driving style massively affects fuel consumption. So that's all for this one. Um, yeah, so 48.75 versus 28.5, I think it was, miles to a gallon. And the only thing that was changed was how I'd have pressed them pedals, really. Uh, also to be mentioned, on the first run, where I got 40 whatever it was miles to a gallon the traffic they were doing some road work so i got stuck in traffic a couple of times as well whereas i didn't on the second one so i reckon i could have gone past the 50 now i wasn't hypermiling or anything like that that's not my not my thing really 
um, just driving a little bit more sensible. Um, well, since it's sensible as reasonably possible, uh, which once again isn't really my thing. Um, on the second run, wasn't too harassing about. I didn't get anywhere any faster. Uh, just, I mean, I was exaggerating the gearing and what have you for, you know, the the clips. Um, but yeah, wrong gears, throttle position on or off. You know, just just drive. I mean, I know people who drive like that. You know, it's not beyond the rounds of possibility for people to drive like that. I've, I've been in cars with people who drive like that. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, just leave that out there. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm on Instagram. Just stupid blokes, stupid videos, underscores between each word if you want to find me on there. So see you later. Peace out, bro.